Today we're in Te Tai Tokoro Northland and this video is going to be all about seafood. We're going coast to coast for seafood feasting. We are traveling from the top of the North Island of New Zealand right down to the bottom of the South Island to find you the best food. We're journeying from the top to the bottom of Aotearoa, New Zealand, taking you into the heart of our country's incredible food culture. This New Zealand food series will take you into the kitchens of New Zealand's favourite restaurants, behind the scenes of New Zealand's most iconic foods, onto boats and into farms, and together we'll gather and cook New Zealand's unique food. This video revolves around kai moana, seafood, and kicks off at the top of Te Ika Ao Maui, the North Island. We take you into a family business producing mouth-watering smoked fish. Marvel at the team's expert knife skills, take a peek into the smokehouse and learn how they create their delicious smoked fish before we head to an unmissable fish and chip shop serving up local pātiki, flounder, caught that morning. You don't want to miss this series. Hit subscribe and get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. Our first stop in the van this morning is for smoked fish. We've found a place that looks like absolute smoked fish mecca. It's called a Patu Aqua. It is just up here in this beautiful setting. We've got the ocean out in front of us, all this countryside. This place looks insane, so let's go track it down. We've just jumped out of the van at Apatu Aqua and the smell in the air is just redolent of smoked fish. It smells incredible. Let's get seeing what they've got uh, smoking up. We've just met Hamish and Nicola who own this business and Hamish is going to give us a little tour of the property. So Apatu Aqua smoke a whole range of fish, local fish as well as stuff that comes up from the south like salmon and, and we've got here just tubs and tubs full of smoked fish. So we've got uh, Manuka smoked chavelli, um, is there some salmon wings here, Hamish and I were just talking about how snacking on uh, smoked salmon wings is like eating chips, they're so good. There's marlin, there's eel, there's kingfish, it's like, it's absolute heaven in here. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. So we're standing um, right in front of the smokehouse, so the fire is going in there. So just trays and trays of Fish. The smell wafting out of here is incredible. So local wood is used to, to smoke the fish and this, it's hand smoked essentially. It's a labour of love. The guys get up at 2am to start stoking the fires and then they use um, local manuka. So you probably know manuka from manuka honey. Um, so it gets um, lit and stoked at 2 a.m. and then it's a really slow process and they just maintain that really gentle heat. They're turning the, the fish every few hours so the ones at the top will get um, brought down to the bottom so that you get this nice even smoking. Oh. Wow. Honestly, I can't tell you, the beautiful gentle heat from the fire is just transforming that fish. I can't wait to eat this. So these guys smoke up to about 250 kilos of fish every day in this smokehouse and there's all sorts. So there's um, mullet, there's snapper, there's, um, what else was there Hamish? Kahawai, so kahawai is that, f that fish that uh, Thomas caught up north um, in the first video that we posted in this series. And um, Hamish was just saying that people can bring their own private catches in to a patu aqua and then get it smoked up and then take it home, which is a really neat and special thing to do. So we're in the part where all the fish filleting and the brining happens. This is kahawai. 
in the tubs here and it's going to be brining for a few hours and the guys are going to fill it one up for us and show us how it's done. Quite nicely. Down the heat, tough heat to these car wheels, eh? Just cut it down the backbone, and slice it to the centre bone, and then I just cut straight through it. Wow. And they pull out all the guts and take the gills out from there. It's really neat seeing the whole process. So being in the in the processing shed here where they're cutting down the fish, grinding the fish, uh, deboning the fish over here, filling up the snapper. So there's so many different species they're working with, and obviously each species different process. They're just it's amazing how they let us come in here and check it all out. Hamish has just cracked open a packet of the Manuka smoked salmon wings. Oh man, it feels beautiful. Let's pull a bit of that out. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. Holy moly. It literally melts in your mouth and it has the most beautiful smoky flavor it's not overwhelming it is just the perfect amount of smokiness and the fish is so moist so the guys here have a little shop where you can buy the product straight from the smokehouse and so we have got ourselves a huge box of smoked fish smoked treats that we're going to tuck into when we get back to the van but if you want to be getting into this stuff and you do you can come here and buy it straight from the source which is really neat back on the road after the most incredible visit to a patu aqua i mean unreal seeing smoke fish on that sort of scale and the team so passionate about what they're doing and we have a bin full of different smoke fish products so we're gonna go find some more ingredients and we're gonna get into that for lunch so let's get into this fish we've driven a small ways up the road we've pulled over for lunch now so let's check out what we've got so we've purchased a bunch of stuff and they were super kind and threw in a whole lot more for us so we have a bin filled with different products look how much stuff we've got it's unreal so we've got some of the smoked fish row so that's a kahawai row we've got the smoked salmon we've got some gem fish that's a really interesting uh, quite a deep sea fish big long fish kingfish that looks beautiful the color in the kingfish got a smoked piece of snapper snappers are very popular fish here in new zealand they gave us some fresh snapper as well so they also have a commercial fishing operation so they have a boat and they go out and catch a bunch of the fish that they smoke but they also sell fresh snapper so we've got some beautiful pieces of fresh snapper there we've got the smoked eel so these gorgeous pieces of smoked eel we've got the tuna like beautiful piece of local tuna so that um, tuna is caught right up here in the north island of new zealand we've got smoked fish pate that's made with kingfish we've got smoked salmon and herb pate we've got smoked eel pate and then in the bottom here is a whole mullet just sitting in the bottom of this tub so that's wrapped up but a whole whole entire mullet smoked we're gonna have to make some choices about what we eat we have laid up a spread for our lunch now obviously we could not manage to eat all of that in one go so we've had to pick a few things to have and we wanted to eat it very simply so we popped into a local bakery we got a loaf of bread so we're keeping it very simple bread onions lemon salt and pepper and we're going to eat the kingfish because that just looks unreal that's a very prized fish here in new zealand not something we get to eat very often 
the snapper, so the smoked snapper. And snapper is probably the most common caught fish in New Zealand. And in the North Island, it's very, very prevalent. That is the most targeted species, and it is an amazing fish, very popular. And we've got this whole mullet to have. And this is a fish that neither of us have ever eaten. And a couple of the pâtés. So we've got the smoked eel pâté and the smoked fish pâté. So let's dive into this food. This is a feast fit for a king. I'm very excited to try the mullet. So the mullet was the stuff that was um, in the smokehouse at the when we were there. Heaps and of mullet in the heaps smokehouse. Of it. Um, and we've got the whole mullet here, so... I've got some snapper. Oh my god. Wow. Mm. The fish just comes away beautifully. The snap is so sweet. Smokiness mm. is not overriding. Wow, that is perfect. And it's so nice and dry. They put a lot of effort in to getting the moisture away from the fish. So it's very... Now, mm. when I say dry, I don't mean dry in a bad way. I mean dry just like smoke, smoke fish should be. Mm. How's this that mullet? That is sensational. The smokiness just infuses the fish in such a beautiful way. It's subtle, but it's also really present. Mm. And the flesh is so moist. So we've got this beautiful fresh bread, and we just want to load up with the bread and the fish and the onions, yeah. the lemon. Keep it very simple. And I love this about New Zealand, these small producers mm -hmm. and getting access to that and the quality of stuff that they're mm -hmm. churning out. I've got the kingfish here. You could see how much love and care went into the food and you can taste it in the food. It's often the way, isn't it? When mm. something tastes amazing, it's because the story behind it means a lot and the people mm. have put time and love into making it. You could tell from the team, they were awesome people, very special mm. people. Okay truly unbelievable this is the smoked eel pate so the stuff that nicola mm. makes and she said it's been flying out the door it's so popular we were very excited to try this one because eel is eaten a lot here in new zealand mm -hmm. you're gonna jump jump yeah, right in um eaten a lot by the maori here in new zealand so the indigenous um people of new zealand very popular food and to have it in a pate is pretty special mm. so nicola uses just local ingredients to make it it's got a cream cheese base just stuff from her garden oh. it's so beautiful everything on this table tastes amazing everything is championing the fish wow oh. unbelievable uh -huh. lunch We've packed up the dining room, so this is one of the joys of van life. You can eat and then your house is on the road. So we're, we're moving locations. We're going from the east coast of the North Island now to the west coast. And we're going to the Hokianga Harbour, but it's still going to be all about seafood, but a totally different style. We're going after fried seafood now. So there's a really neat looking fish and chip shop, which does some real specialties. So we're heading over to the west coast to the Hokianga for some seafood at a fish and chip shop. We've made it to our next stop and this is a beautiful little town right here on the Hokianga Harbour. So a gorgeous harbour and the town's called Rarane. And here is the fish and chip shop that we want to visit. So we've just parked up, gone for a walk around the town while we've waited for them to open up. And it's such a neat little town. There's a lot of history here. And the neat little thing they have actually is a car ferry which takes you over to the other side of the Hokianga. So all these people are lined up waiting to get on the car ferry to take them over. So you don't have to go for a massive drive drive right around the head of the harbour but the fish and chip shop's meant to be open right now so let's go check it out so here's the fish and chip shop up here they've opened up they've got the big open flags outside now and this one here is what we're after so we want to have the flounder and chips oh yeah The thing you have to eat in New Zealand is of course fish and chips. Fish and chips are one of our national dishes. But here at Hokianga, what you need to order is flounder and chips. The Hokianga Harbour has a lot of flounder. Flounder is a flat fish and it comes in fresh off the boat from a local guy who catches it. They bring it up to the fish and chip shop and fry it up. So that's what we're going to order. Hokianga flounder with chips. 
Awesome. Two flounders. Um, well, how water? How big are they? So they're fresh and um, fresh as. We, uh, well, yeah, well, they're all about. The same. This is a very neat, very classic fish and chip shop. So you've got the old sort of school tables, um, all the old cutlery, but the best bit about this fish and chip shop is the library. So down here is the, the library returns for the town. So the library and fish and chip shop are all in one place. It's a very neat little shop and it's a super cold day. So you walk into a fish and chip shop with the fryer going, smells good, it's warm. Can't wait for this flounder and chips. So the flounder is right here and it's a flatfish, so it lives on the bottom of the ocean. So it has a little eye on the side of the head. It's been floured, battered up, straight into the hot oil, bubbling away. Chips are on the go, super golden. Bring it on. How good? Does the flounder and chips look so beautifully golden? The smell is unreal. We've got the classic New Zealand Waddies tomato sauce to go with it. We've got the pile of chips underneath. We've got the flounder on top and a slice of lemon. So I'm gonna drench it in the lemon. Man, that is a juicy wedge of lemon. Get the lemon all over the flounder and let's just crack right on in. Oh, look how it comes away. The fish is insanely soft. Oh, oh wow. Oh man, it's so hot. Oh, so delicate, that fish. Oh wow, super delicate. Mm. Very, very sweet. Chip. Oh. Perfect chips, golden, small crunch on the outside, pillowy in the inside, but it's all about this flounder. I'm just gonna rip right in with my hands. Oh my God, it's so hot. Woo. Whoa, it's hot. Okay. Mm. Oh, flounder is a very special fish. It's soft and sweet and delicate. It's just, beautiful to eat and the fact that it's come from there so they they get the fish right from the harbor the fisherman who gets it lands the fish right here at the boat ramp so from the harbor to here is about 10 meters look how moist it is you can just see as i pull that off with my fingers how moist the fish is it's so fresh just completely flaking falling to bits so mm. Mm. Oh, and the batter is super dry, so there's no stodginess in the batter. It's a very special place to have this flounder and chips as well, because there's a lot of history in this little town. Uh, Coupe, who was the first Polynesian explorer to come here, so the ancestor of all the Māori, so the um, indigenous people of New Zealand, landed in the Hokianga Harbour and here near this town. And this was one of the first European settlements in New Zealand as well, so there's a lot of history on both sides of the scale there. And man, it is a special, special place to have a meal like this. Flounder straight from the harbour, expertly cooked, sweet, juicy, delicious fish, and sitting here, which is unreal. And I must say thank you very much to the staff for letting us film and also letting us sit here. This is actually their private smoko area. So they've let us come out, sit out here so we can enjoy the view while we're filming. So super thankful to them for this amazing food and this amazing scenery. What a way to wrap up what has been a huge seafood day here in Northland, going from coast to coast. So the East Coast all the way here to the West Coast, to the Hokianga to finish with this flounder and chips. I mean, what a day of seafood, unbelievable.